Hey everyone, I forgot to film an intro for today's video. So this past weekend, I realized I was starting to get even more depressed from being depressed in general, which I know it doesn't really make sense, but normally on the weekends, I love having a lot of things planned, just keeping busy, hanging out with family and friends, eating out, trying new places. And I just have not had the motivation to do any of that. And I work from home 100%, so I'm really not interacting with others. I'm hardly leaving the house, and I've just been very sedentary, just either like watching TV or just like dragging my feet to do the simplest things. We have been taking Coco on walks here and there, but it's just very unlike me. Like I'm not doing my makeup. Like I just realized I need to start doing something for myself and just really trying to figure out what my new routine is. A couple of nights ago, my cousins came over and it was just a nice distraction. It was a good time hanging out and we just always have a good time when we're together and my parents have been there for me, obviously. Uh, this definitely, we're always close, but this just like brought us even closer and I think throughout this whole process, I just like really found out who my support system is, who's genuinely there for me, from like family and friends in real life, and then also over the internet. So I am trying to make the positive out of a negative situation. I just want to thank everyone for supporting me, checking in on me, just sending positive messages. It definitely does not go unnoticed. And then also the other day, one of my friends texted me asking if she can come over to go on a walk with Coco and I. And she actually trained me at my first job, which was Subway. And she's even watched the dogs a couple of times or let them out if we know we're gonna be out for a long period of time. And she actually found a photo of when she first met Marshmallow. So I thought that was super sweet. Coco absolutely loved having some time with her auntie. Coco drank some water, you know, they played together and like she held her for a bit. So I thought it was such a good visit. And then after she left, Ernie and I decided to walk to the gym, which that honestly felt really nice. Just kind of tuning out, lifting some weights, just focusing on the podcast and just having some fresh air and just some physical activity because I have not been doing anything the past few weeks. So I just got tired of watching TV and just like not having plans and I don't think I'm there to where I want to eat out or like do anything fun, but I think slowly but surely I am starting to get there or at least now I do want to start going back to the gym just to fill some time in my day, just to remain healthy, just to have some self care. And even before this happened with Marshmallow, a couple of weeks prior, I just felt like things were happening all at once and they're just starting to pile on top of each other and they still are. So I hope soon things just turn around in a positive note. I don't know what is going on right now, but I just know I can't control everything or it's out of my control basically, but I'm going to try and control what I can. So today is just kind of focusing on like picking myself back up, just trying to go back to my normal routine and just adding some things to it, doing some self care. So let's go ahead and spend the day together. And this is Coco on her morning walk. She was pretty happy to get outside. So we wanted to go early in the morning before it got too warm out for her. As you can tell, she has a lot of fur and she got a bit tired. So she's just taking a little water break right now. And I don't know what these were, but I thought that was pretty interesting to see on our walk. And then once we were back home, Coco was in a very playful mood. She absolutely loved seeing her auntie and it was nice to see her playing with her toys again so there's my friend petting her and then I was just trying to play with her little iced coffee drink and once my friend left Ernie and I decided to walk to the gym And now it is time to shower. After my shower, I wash my face with my Cetaphil face wash. I use this exfoliating lip scrub, and this is my favorite all natural deodorant cream. And I just put on some lotion. This is by Sand and Fog. And lately I have been obsessed with applying sunscreen, and I just curl my lashes and call it a day. And I apply some Matrix heat protector spray before I went ahead and strained my hair. Now I am meal prepping our lunch for tomorrow. I am making a pesto chicken skillet. Since I am just starting to get back into meal prepping and just finding the motivation to cook again, normally I would use a chicken breast, but I'm just using these already cooked 
chicken strips that are already seasoned from Costco just to make life a little bit easier and I'm just cutting them up into bite-sized pieces. Next I'm adding a tablespoon worth of minced garlic and then next you want to add in your favorite pesto sauce. I'm using about a tablespoon or two for this and then I just season with some salt and pepper. Next I add in two scoops of one fourth cup rice and that is the last addition to the skillet. And a quick little update about Coco. She is eating more normally now if I mix her kibble with some Vincent broth. So she's actually eating more than usual, which I'm very happy to see. I love smelling good, so I decided to put on some Victoria's Secret Bombshell IL perfume before heading out to my parents. And this is Coco on the car ride up there. And my dad made some chicken tacos and Spanish rice for dinner. And while we were eating dinner, we were just watching some press conferences between Nate Diaz and Jorge Masvidal for their upcoming boxing match. They were actually close by this time in Inglewood. Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it. And last time I saw Nate Diaz box, which I am a fan of Nate Diaz. He was in Dallas, Texas, and unfortunately he lost, but I will definitely be watching that fight from the comfort of my living room and hopefully he wins this time around. And my cousin came over a few days ago and brought me these flowers. And then also they know I love churro flavored items. So they brought me some churro flavored Oreos, which I thought was very sweet of them. And that is all that we did today. I know it didn't seem like much, but I thought today was a pretty good day. It's the most that we've done in a few weeks. So it was nice seeing my friend today and then my mom inviting us over for dinner, just getting out of the house. Also, it was a plus that we didn't have to cook dinner. So that was definitely nice. And I do have two counseling sessions this week. So I think that would be very beneficial. I'm just starting to like really focus on my overall health again. So I will update you all, of course, and I will see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye, everyone.